Hey guys, Jacob here. It is April 19th, 2022. This is going to be this week's vendor reset. As usual, we're going to be starting at the base of ops at the front desk vendor. This week, they're selling the force multipliers, the Hano U Corporation with perfect combined arms. So if you guys are trying to collect all the needed items um, or pretty much just have Hano U pieces, then I would recommend picking this up. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case you guys need any of the rolls or any of the talents. But overall, no max rolls at the front desk vendor this week. Now you just go under the helipad right here on the right and see the double white doors. You will sign that says Clan Quarters. Shout out to DoD and Kamikaze Von Doom. Pick it right here, and this is the Clan Quarters. Keep this in mind, this area will be locked if you are not in a clan, so make sure you hop in one to get access to this vendor. Good to see you. This week they're selling the Everyday Carry. This is perfect efficient. Like I said, if you're trying to collect all the named items, I'd recommend grabbing this, or at the same time, farm loot allocations to find a better one. So I know some of you guys are trying to find ones that have armor already on them and have a double red like critical hit chance and critical hit damage. I'm going to scroll through the rest of the stuff in case you guys need any of the rolls or any of the talents. They are selling max critical hit damage if you guys need that for a chest piece. Um, it's been, also, it's Fenris, so if you guys are trying to make a Fenris Vanguard style shield build, then I guess you guys could use this. Um, I know some of you guys are making some really interesting builds due to the PTS currently active at the moment. Um, but also do the PTS being active. I know shield builds are not going to be that used that much. Um, so maybe you guys want to get rid of the Vanguard and put something else. But you'll be stuck with status effects. But at the same time, you can use this just for the critical hit damage in your library. But other than that, that's me about it for the vendors at the base box. Next is going to be the theater settlement over here to the right. Usually I put a little cut in here. But due to how fast the Xbox Series X is, you pretty much load absolutely instantly at the settlements. This is the theater nice selling this week. Again. He is selling this story break shotgun, as usual. Um, usually this guy sells this gun all the time for some reason. I don't know why. But this has perfect jazz hands. If you're trying to collect all the named items, I would recommend grabbing it. At the same time, you can farm it for loot allocations. And overall, that's me about it for the clan vendor this week. The front desk vendor and the theater so far. Next is going to be the campus, which is going to be the last open world, uh, I guess, settlement, you could say. Because the other ones are pretty much going to be the DC vendors and also uh, the vendor in New York. And I just go down the brick path at the end of the tree and take a left. You will see the vendor. Check out what I've got. And this week she is selling the carnage. This is the uh, named, I think this is the IWI Negev. I think this is, has perfect status, which is 25% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. So if you guys are trying to pick this up, I would recommend grabbing it. At the same time, like I said, you can always farm the allocations to find this weapon. But other than that, that's all they're really selling at the canvas vendor this week. And that's going to be the open world vendors. And we're going to have the DZ vendors next, which are technically open world in some sense. But you do need DZ currencies to buy anything from these vendors, which you can get by deconstructing gear in the DZ and extracting it. Or opening tiny little boxes scattered around the DZ and you'll be able to pretty much get one resource per box. This is going to be the DZ West first. This week he's selling the backup boomstick with bread basket. Um, in my opinion, this is not worth the 152 credits unless you're really trying to collect all the named items. But I think you could probably farm loot allocation areas to find a way better one of these or just open named caches. But overall, that's me about it for DZ West. I know some of these items I have said pick them up just to add them to your collection. But the DZ vendors are a little different because some of those resources cost you a lot of time. Especially if you're not a DZ player and you have, you know, 300 or have that stuff, uh, you know, stashed up in your stash box. Or you have maybe 160. You can't really be spinning it if you don't really have that much. So picking up these items, you may miss out on something. Uh, the next day, say you might have bought that gun or bought a gun that you've really wanted. And the next week they're selling the apartment. Then you have to farm for those resources again. It's very good to this see week you. they're selling the door kicker. And this is the... A uh, group of Sombra chest piece with perfect spark. If you guys have this, I would recommend picking it up. Like I said, blue allocation areas, though, you can find better ones. Then we have max swap speed on this AUG. And also, I am going to be pointing out this piece here as well. That's mostly because it's going to be a Yaw Gear piece. And I know a lot of people are asking me if pulse uh, builds are going to be a big thing in the PTS. And I'm not going to judge um, any meta builds or builds like that until the game officially until that patches out and we see in the DZ what's really, really strong. Um, but I would recommend picking this up just in case because it is a possibility that a lot of people are going to be using a lot of pulse builds. So you might want to use that pulse resistance. 
and also I feel like that for some reason, from what I've seen so far in the PTS, a lot of people are using status, and the new brain set piece does give you hazard, so maybe you might want to pick this up in the future for a build. Thanks for the business. That's going to be about it for DZ West and DZ South. The final DZ on the list is going to be DZ East. This one does take the longest to get to the vendor because you have to run all the way up at the front. You can fast travel to the main checkpoint here, um, but either way, I think it's just the same amount of time because you have to load in for a second. And by the time you load in, you can just run up here and just go right to her. And she'll be up here on the right. Quite a selection in DC. Right. This week, she's selling Echo's Long Sick. This is the perfect ranger, and this one has max damage to armor on it. So if you guys don't have this, I would recommend picking this one up because you can max out the headshot damage and you can make the marksman rifle optimization or farm loot allocation areas to find a better one, like I said. But this one's not too bad. I have seen worse. I'm going to scroll through the rest of these items in case you guys need them. I'm also going to point out the Sombra holster. Uh, if you guys have some spare credits and you're new, I would recommend picking this up because you can change the armor region to critical hit chance and have a pretty decent Sombra holster because you're also getting 15% critical hit damage from the brand set bonus in general. And if you're trying to make a DPS build, then you might want to pick this up. Or, like I've always said, you just farm for it. Glad we could come That's going to be the DC vendors, the DC vendors, and the DZ vendors. It's kind of weird to say. And then next up, we're going to have the New York City expansion, which is going to be Haven. Just a reminder, they do not sell any named items up here. So if you guys are trying to find named items, they do not sell them yet. Unless they update that in the future, where they do sell named items. But currently at the moment, the only two vendors up here sell your basic high-end gear. And that's really about it. And there's only two of them, which is upstairs on the area. left, which is the main vendor. Then we have Roy Benitez in the back room. No, but as you guys will see here, it's all pretty much your basic high-end gear. But if you need any of it, I would recommend grabbing it. Thanks for trading with me. Now just go through here and take a left, then go right to the green tent. You'll see Roy Benitez right over here. What can I do? And this week, he is selling a vector with measured if you guys are looking for a vector. Um, I know people are going to take that headshot damage off, put damage threats off cover. Um, but if you're looking for one, he is selling, selling one at the moment. It's not the best, but there is one there. And other than that, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to point out this Sokolov Concern Mask if you guys are trying to make an SMG build. Because you can get rid of the weapon handling and put critical hit damage and then optimize the critical hit chance. And have a pretty decent Sokolov Mask for an SMG DPS build or whatever around. you're trying to do with it. Or at least triple red stat, that is. Um, but overall, that's going to be this week's Vendor Reset. Keep an eye out, guys, for all the PTS videos. I'm not going to be publishing too many um, because I kind of want to cover that pretty much patch or the update, whatever you want to call it, when it fully airs eventually so I have a full feel of what's going on because the PTS, things are subject to change and they can always just be completely flipped around. Um, but I did just release a video on the Catharsis Mask. If you guys want to see how it works and just a quick little review on it, I didn't go super in-depth, um, but it's just an overall idea of what it looks like as well. And I'll be trying to make a video on the two exotics, but currently at the moment, I'm pretty sure they're bugged. So they don't look exactly like they're supposed to, so I might wait on that and maybe see in the next PTS for, I think it's phase three, if they'll fix the models um, and then make a video on it. Or I might just cover them the way they are and just so you guys can see the talents and how they function. But this is all the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.